Alright. So, this time around, I'm gonna try to go on an instant. You know? I could definitely commentate and play at the same time, but I said, I'm just kind of like doing a casual thing right now, I'm trying to get a feel for the strings, because as I get into Lump's Cancer Campaign, I do not want there to be any mistakes, I don't want there to be any technical snafus like what I just experienced. That guy is on my shit list, and he's gonna go down. It looks like there's bear claws and shit all over the wall, you see that? Like something horrendously huge was just ripping the place up. Oh, you're dying. No, not that time. Yeah, pink jumpsuit wear, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. You know, my goal someday is to actually beat this game. I'm just gonna sit down one night with a whole bunch of fucking beer, and I'm gonna try to beat it. Oh, I hear the ice cream man outside. You know, the the, the, the G-rated one, you know, not the guy, you know, selling the crack cocaine. Alright, let's... Although there's a few of them around here, too, but they don't drive around with little white trucks and play music. They play music, they're doing it from their lifted 65. Yeah! Okay, I... Progress. I finally killed that motherfucker. Alright. Take out the dancing guy. I got no choice but to go up there. So, this is how I'm gonna do it. Oh, are you fucking for real? Ah! Okay, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't want to go off screen even a little bit because that guy would have came back and made my life hell. All right. So we're getting in here with four bars of life. These guys are pretty easy, I guess. See, if you stay under the pillar here, they're less likely to hit you, which is nice. But when they do hit, watch out, because it takes like three or four bars, and I can't afford to go hitting you once. See, they try, but they it's really hard for them to time their jumps just right to where they can damage you. Because if they get too close to that pillar, it's like they automatically jump you. They never seem to fire their projectiles in the bottom. Oh! See, just simply walking into them knocked three bars off my helmet. I can't afford that shit. What? I have never seen that happen. It's two! Where the hell do those other two come from? Oh my god! Alright. I'm gonna keep trying this out. You know, you never know. I might just find my mojo here, and then I'm going to be beating this fucking game today. And I'm just getting a feel for the streams, guys, you know? So if anyone's out there watching, let me know how it's coming through. Alright. See, I, I guess I'm a masochist, okay? I like to play really hard games, and I don't know when to stop. You know, when the average person would be like, oh, fuck this, I, I'd never do. And I guess it's just something i got to deal with. Now, which is really contrasting to a cousin of mine I lived with for a while. That guy would get so mad at his video game systems. You know, he would snap a couple BSs in half, uh, punch computer screens, and slap around PlayStations. And to me, that's just straight up con. You know, don't do it. Down the road, you may want to play that game again someday, so why damage your shit? See, there's rage quitting, and then there's, uh, temper tantrums. You know, little kids out there. You know, some toy trips them up, they're gonna, like, break it into a million pieces. I've seen it. Ugh. See, I'm out of my sub-weapon, and these guys got me in about the same predicament I was in before. So I hope they don't multiply again. You know, I never really read up on this boss. I'm confused why the other two popped up out of nowhere. When that's never happened before. See, they have shared life. And 
now I got that guy. Now that might actually be a fucking glitch that happened earlier. I, I couldn't tell you. I'll tell you one thing, out of all the years I've played this game, it's never happened to me. Yeah! Now we can move on. You have come a long way to bring me the demon statue. Now give it to me. No! Do you know what you're saying? You, you coward. No! Don't give it to him. Now, put down the demon statue on the floor and back up. Nice work. I guess this is goodbye. Have a nice day. Take the girl away. She is going to be a sacrifice. Ha ha ha, it's mine. Tonight is the night of rebirth, which comes only once every 700 years. This world will soon be mine. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Uh, it gets a little carried away, I know. It's... Well, what can you say? It's kind of like those cheesy ninja films back in the uh, 70s, 80s, all that. Well, I hit A right there, so hopefully there wasn't a cutscene. An important one, but I skipped over. Right I just want to get to the action. You know, I'm all pumped up now. So you got to warm up the D-pad a little bit when you play, before you play games like this, because it is so reliant on your timing. You know, so I recommend playing something, you know, pretty hardcore for about five minutes, something you don't care about, and then go in for the real shit. You know, to tell you the truth, I haven't played on my Nintendo in about two to three weeks now, so... It's nice to get it out again. Pay homage. It's my favorite console. You know, lately I've been playing some, uh, Steam shit, you know? I've been playing Guacamelee, Super Meat Boy, and I've never played games like that. You know, except for back when I was a kid, so it's good to... It's like revisiting my childhood. Yeah! That's what it's supposed to... <laughs> okay. I shouldn't waste too much time on those retarded-looking, like, rolly things that look like they're wearing straight jackets. Okay, so... Boom. And hey, what the hell is that thing? It looks like a deformed monkey or something. Come here, eagle. Boom. Yeah, I'm telling you right now, those eagles, don't try to jump after them. You're just wasting your time. Oh, you fucker. Oh, he kicked my ass. Yeah! Alright, Stupid fucking eagle! Ugh, gotcha. Yeah! Watch out for the bat. No! I made the cardinal mistake right there. Don't kill the bat, okay? Jump over the bat, like so. And then they don't come back. Okay, Whew. barely dodged that one. That was amazing. Okay, so boom. Come here, Eagle. Boom. No. Okay, good. See, the glitch worked right there. I was getting a little worried for a second, you know, because I'm trying to pull out my fucking star and it's not working. And this controller, I just cleaned this, thing, so there's no excuses. It's just one of those things that happens. Hey, you see the little fucker rolling at you like. Ugh. When you see him rolling at you like that, just swing your sword, okay? You don't have to duck down, do any of that weird shit. 
Because it's gonna take too much time and then he's gonna hit you. I don't know how I did that. That was amazing. The guy who for all intents and purposes should have hit me. I knew the second that I jumped, I shouldn't have jumped. We're gonna keep going. Oh! That. See, that's what happens. Don't jump just when you're smart. Kind of think of me as your crash test gun for Ninja Gun. Oh no, not you! Oh, I don't know how I dodged that, but I did. I want to know what's in that candle, but I'm afraid that guy's gonna come back. Okay. So now I got fire, which is good because I needed it right there. Kill the bat. Kill the fucking monkey guy. Kill that guy. I'll let his incarnate live. Jump over the bat. Okay, remember, jump over the bat. Okay, so boom, boom, boom. Oh, just go in there. Okay. Whew, I got full life. And I am on stage 5-2. I barely gritted through that one. Like, you probably look at this and be like, it's impossible. You can jump through this here. It's the getting down part that really sucks. You're gonna see what I'm talking about when you get to it. Nope, not today. So they got the gray little rolly things, and they got these green ones. Kinda goofy. Oh, man. Where the hell did my life go? That's what I'm curious about. I don't remember losing that one. I could have swore that I filled up. Fuck you. Fuck you. Alright, so still no sub weapon. Let's see if I can get anything cool up here. Shit. See, look at that. Ah! <laughs> I had the perfect spot, and I decided I'm going to get cocky, and I'm going to fucking go for it. And it hit me in the ass. Alright. Not today, Mr. Eagle Man. Oh! Now, you can dodge that guy, but you got to time it just right. It's pretty hard. Sometimes I just say fuck it and take the hit. Okay. Yeah, I need to get Kill him. I'm just worry about one of them. No! Okay. Look before you leap. That's what we gotta do. Ah, oh, you spinning top ballerina motherfucker. Ugh. Get enough of your shit, your shit. Fuck you, bat. Uh, some Okay, I got this family that lives around here. I got these big ass motorcycles. They drive away. And, and it really sucks when I'm trying to record. However, I'm not rich enough to afford a soundproof booth right now. Perhaps later. Okay, so this is the part I'm speaking about, okay? Uh, 